wanted to get this video in because it has been um, a good amount of uh, time since the fight between Errol Spence Jr. and Danny Garcia. And one of the things that has been talked about after that particular fight is, of course, Terrence Crawford, the WBO welterweight champion of the world. And he was in attendance at the AT&T Stadium for that particular fight. And uh, a lot of people have been talking about the comments made by Errol Spence Jr. after the fight. And you see what the title of this video is. And I'm just going to plain out say it. You're not going to see this fight until Terrence Crawford is not with top rank. Okay. Um, you know, we've had conversations over the course of the past, what has it been, four weeks or so, when it comes to Terrence Crawford and him being with top rank. We all know about the comments that were made by Bob Arum soon after the fight that Terrence Crawford had against Kell Brook, where he said that he's not making that much money off of Terrence Crawford. Okay. And that he said that he could, you know, build a mansion with the money that he's lost uh, with Terrence Crawford and that type of stuff, right? And also, you also got to look at the comments that were actually made after Crawford's went over Brooke when Crawford and Aaron were talking about having a fight made with Manny Pacquiao. And they talked about it in detail. They didn't talk about trying to make a fight with Errol Spence Jr. in detail. They were trying to see about making a fight with Manny Pacquiao. Whether Manny Pacquiao's with PBC or not is one thing. But, like I was saying, you're not going to see Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence in the ring with each other until Terrence Crawford is not with top rank. And my thing is, is that if he wants to stay with top rank after the contract is up by October 2021, hey, that's on him. But I don't necessarily think that that would be the case. Well, at least it shouldn't be. I've had, like I said, I've had multiple conversations with Crawford's trainer and manager, Brian Bomack McIntyre. And there was a there is a clip on the channel that states what Bomack was talking about when he was talking about the topic of Bob Arum's comments after the Brook fight and after everyone was basically gone from that uh, studio setting at the MGM Grand uh, Grand Ballroom in Las Vegas. And he didn't really want to go into that particular topic, topic, excuse me, topic in public. He said that, yo, we can handle it behind closed doors. Let's just do that. But seems like after that, here we are talking about Terrence Crawford being in attendance for the uh, the um, Spence fight against Danny Garcia, right? Okay, cool. You have PBC's uh, pay-per-view um, coverage. And the commentators are talking about Terrence Crawford and recognizing him as the WBO welterweight champion. Now, we haven't even seen them do that up until this point. So, could it be one of two things? Could it be that Crawford could be a step closer from being bought out of his contract with Top Rank and joining PBC? Or is it to the point where they mention Crawford as a WBO champion because they have someone in PBC as the highest ranked contender for the WBO title, which is Sean Porter. 
And you saw at the end of the pay-per-view, Sean Porter mentioned that he would prefer to fight Terrence Crawford than having a rematch with Errol Spence. So it looks like that is the fight that they're trying to put together before they have Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence in the ring against each other. But I still feel that Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence won't fight until Terrence Crawford is not with top rank anymore. I mean, that that's pretty much it. Because it's one thing with all of those guys that are there at welterweight on PBC and you have Terrence Crawford sitting there on top rank. But the other thing is this, okay? Top rank, or Bob Arum, pretty much, doesn't make cross-promotional fights, or at least recently, unless he has an idea or a feeling that his guy is heavily favored or considerably favored to win. Jose Ramirez against Maurice Hooker. Vasil Lomachenko against Luke Campbell. He was confident, even though the rematch was pretty much kind of set. Tyson Fury against Deontay Wilder. Bob Arum's guys, top rank against guys that are not with top rank. They could be with Matchroom. They could be with PBC or whatever. But Bob Arum was really cool with those type of fights. But with Terrence Crawford... When it comes to fighting guys like a Sean Porter, Keith Thurman possibly, and Errol Spence, he's not making those fights. It's funny that he's saying that he's losing money with Terrence Crawford, but he's made fights with guys like Amir Khan and Kel Brook, but he can't make a fight with a Sean Porter a Keith Thurman, or an Errol Spence? You think you're going to lose money that way? That's crazy to me. But he didn't have any issues making those fights that I mentioned before. So with that being said, Terrence Crawford, you might have to go the Canelo route. Like I said uh, with um, Bomack, Coach Bomack, I said, look, we already had free Canelo this year. Maybe we need to have a free Bud Crawford and start and 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 keep pushing that hashtag free Bud Crawford because, like I said, if you want to see Terrence Crawford and Earl Spence in the ring, Terrence Crawford won't be with top rank. I just don't see it happening. I need to know what your thoughts on this topic is. Go ahead and post a comment. Under this video, if you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell that's next to it. We would greatly appreciate it here at The Boxing Source. Until next time, I'm out. Peace.